Good evening, everybody. Welcome to Great and Craft. Look who's here, everyone. It's the one and only John Bloodworth. How are you? I'm good, Martin. How it's are good you? To see you? Good. It's good to see you. You've got some colour in your face, even yes. away. No, bowling. Just outside bowling. <laughs> Fair I'm enough. bowling. And you're turning into Santa as well. Oh, yeah. yes, I am. The but, secret is out. Yeah, it's good to see you, though. And we've had a really successful One Day Wonder, haven't we? We have indeed. Uh, yeah. And this is the very last live chance to get hold of everybody in this show. Now, if you remember, John and I launched the GoPress and Foil, sold out in 11 minutes yes. or something crazy like yeah. that. Um, and ever since, it's been a humongously popular it has, tool, hasn't it? Has. it? And it's understandable, really, considering what so. it can do for you. Yeah, I think so. It's an attachment, if you like to go with your own die cutting machine mm -hmm. to enable you to hot foil. Exactly that. It's without an having to buy a separate machine, if you see what I mean. I do understand. Hopefully everyone else does too. Well, we'll hopefully <laughs> find out by the end of this hour. Now, obviously, there's plenty of you that already have the machine. So we've got a number of item numbers. The first and main one on there gets you the machine. It gets you a floral and wedding die collection and an extra metal plate and you get a lid upgrade. OK. Uh, which is pretty cool. We'll talk about that in a minute. But also, don't go away if you've already got a go press and foil, because we have uh, separate item numbers on the show for you guys, where you can get things like the, the lid upgrade, or you can get the dies, you know? If you've already got the machine, mm -hmm. you don't want to buy another one, but you, you might want to buy some of the other things on the show. Exactly. OK, so... In a nutshell, John, mm -hmm. what is the Go Press and Foil? It's very much, Martin, as you said, it's an upgrade for your existing die cutting machine. So, with your current die cutting machine, you can die cut bits of paper, card, fabric, and perhaps other materials. By adding the Go Press and Foil system to that, you can now hot foil letter press, position stamps accurately, and also hot foil. So we've okay. got various things that we can now add to our creative things, but it reinvigorates your existing craft stash too. Good word, reinvigorate. I thank you I very much. Be a reinvigorating Me too, I've been up since five. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, however, um, this is li literally taking away the plates that go through your machine and yeah. replacing it with this device. Mm -hmm. It's very clever. It's amazingly clever. And I think it's testament to um, Couture Creations ability to understand the craft market and what mm. crafters want. Mm. Um, many crafters actually work for Couture Creations, which is an Australian brand, and they had a lot of input into this system when it first launched. And as you said, it sold out in amazing time. And it did that two more times as well. Mm. And then since then, they've obviously added features to it, such as the stamp press with the grid on the lid and also the extra thick plate for which we were waiting for these dies to come out. Yes. And now they're here. We've then got the addition of this system, the upgrade, for those that bought the original ones that yep. didn't have the grid on the lid or the adapter Because this is going to do a little bit more than it did originally, it isn't is, it? Which yep. we're going to show you during this hour, but you're only going to have till the end of this hour to take advantage of whatever you want in this show, uh, because that, that's it. That's the end of the one-day wonder. It goes up at 10 o'clock. Everything on this show that was on special prices going back up at 10 o'clock, just like that. So, now, let's talk Christmas. No. OK. Now, let's talk Christmas. <laughs> All right, then. Because the reason I say that, because whatever you buy in this show, the chances are you can get it on four flexi mm. plates, right? It's July tomorrow. Oh my, yes, it is, isn't it? It's July tomorrow. It's downhill right? from now on. Exactly. <laughs> the nights are drawing in. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's July tomorrow. So, 1st of July or 30th of June, you make your first payment on flexi pay. That means you've got the 30th of July, 30th of August, 30th of September. That leaves you October and November's payday to worry about all the other things yeah. you need to worry about for Christmas, yeah? And you've got somebody, their main present, and you've paid it off nice and easily over four interest-free flexi pays between now and Christmas. So if you are interested in this during the show, remember that is an option for mm. you. Absolutely. Right, OK. So let's break it down, break it down, okay. shall we? So, uh, there's some pictures. We're going to go and get ready to demonstrate. But you are going to get this amazing collection. Now, you could go, if you've already got the GoPress and foil, you could go for the Couture Creations Cut Foil and Emboss Floral and Wedding Die Collection. This is something new. I need to just stress. Cut, foil and emboss floral and wedding die collection. I'm not talking just ordinary dies here. This, they do something a little bit different, these do, and it's only the second collection of them. If you go for that one, you'll get the metal plate and the upgrade, upgrade kit included as well at a club price of $143.97. <coughs> then we have 451556, which gets you the um, cut foil and embossed metal plate and lid upgrade and a couple of bonus dies thrown in. 
just for the fun of it. So if you've already got the go press and foil, you've been waiting for the metal plate and a lid upgrade. Sounds like something you'd have done at the hospital, doesn't it? <laughs> you won't feel a thing, Checking sir. We're just going to give you a metal plate and a lid upgrade. <laughs> I could do with both of those, I think. Yeah. Um, and then, of course, you can get the dies on their own, if you like. Those are the cut foil and embossed dies uh, in a floral and wedding collection. 13 dies. Or... You might look at them and go, well, I only want the wedding cake. That's fine, you can get them individually. If you go to our website, you can find them all individually. And then finally, let me remind you that we have capped postage as well. So if you put three dies in your basket, you're only going to pay £2.99 postage, saving yourself a good old £4. Uh, so I think that's quite, you know, it's worth doing. Um, do you want the wedding collection on it? God, so many options here. Do you want the wedding collection on its own? You can get the wedding collection on its own if you like. Here's the wedding collection on its own. 451 727. Or you can get the floral collection on its own. That's 451 593. Anything else? No, that's it. Right. Thank you very much for watching. <laughs> <laughs> We're out of time. No, seriously, that's, that's the breakdown. We've got a big breakdown of stuff, John. Mm -hmm. Uh, and now we're going to show you how to use all of that, basically, okay, for the okay. last uh, rest of the hour. We'd love to hear from you. If you have the machine, we'd love to hear how you're getting on. And uh, if you've got any questions, John's the expert. Pictures. Ooh. I'd love some pictures, okay, if anybody's so done pictures. anything with them as well. I thought of a really good competition today. Right. Um, I, th I was thinking the World Cup's still going on, okay. though, although Wimbledon's coming as well. I think we ought to have some special events going on for the World Cup while um, with our viewers, you know, like we okay. do for... Yeah. You know? So I thought about... Um, I thought about... Um, on the Edson, right, right, yeah, uh, where viewers send in pictures with the most unusual things balanced on their heads, yeah, yes, and I'd love to see that. We pick a winner that. at the end of the event. It's Can not a real thing. Hour? It was just. Can the, we do that? This. I was hour? just thinking about it on the way. You know, <laughs> on the Edson, right? Uh, you know, and if you've got the most unusual thing, I don't know, like I don't know, a cat or something like that. Balance, somebody wins a prize. It's not for real. Don't send those pictures in, please. Why but not? I thought it would be a good idea. Go on, do it. On the Edson. Yeah. <laughs> Brilliant. Right, are we ready? Yeah, they want me to ask you the question I was... That oh. Literally was on the tip of my what tongue. Question? Um, what, what was the question? <laughs> <laughs> what is the, uh, the, 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 the upgrade kit, basically, John? What's oh, it all okay, about? Oh, OK, right. So we're back to normal business thing. Um, well, basically, the upgrade kit is a way of using the new cut foil and embossed dies. Okay. So in the upgrade kit, you will obviously get an extra lid. Uh -huh. You will also get a thick metal plate. Uh -huh. Now the plates that come with other die cutting machines are flexible and thin, and these are designed to pad out sandwiches going through here. However, this is much, much thicker and it does not bend. Mm. And what that's designed to do is give you a stable flat surface to hold your die in position and give it the right amount of pressure. You can tell us the difference yeah, there, can't, can't you? you? Yeah, exactly. Musically. See? Thicker, thinner. Thicker, thinner. Yeah. So, we're working with a thicker plate. We've had it in our machine for a few minutes heating up, so that's now going to transfer the heat from the silicon base right. into the die itself, which means we can now use this to foil, emboss, and die cut in one operation. It's not three separate passes through the machine, it's just gonna go all through at once and do them all. Now this is the new big thing about these dies. Exactly, it? yes. So I've got one of those on the plate here. Okay. My foil's gonna go face down, and this is the heat reactive foil that we've got available today. And then I'm gonna put my cardstock directly on top of that. Okay. And then pass it through my die cutting Your machine. Your thing's a bit bent. I know. It's just warped with heat, that's all. Oh, it doesn't make any difference. Absolutely not. Okay. No, that's, it's natural. That's okay. what will happen to yours. And that's another reason to get the upgrade kit, because then you have a replacement one that's clean for True. your stamping. True. Uh, do you always wind it backwards and forwards? or forwards and I do, as or? a matter of course. But to be honest, that was done in one pass anyway. Right. So it was fine. And if you always return it to its base, it's just cycling and keeping it at temperature so you can keep on working and doing your bits and pieces. Now, these dies cut beautifully, so wow. that's straight out. Okay. And then if I just take this off... And I'll just bang that out, and then I can pop out my die cut. Oh, it's actually come out already, look. Pop this back onto your silicon plate. I appear to have silicon fingers. OK, yes. It is a bit warm. Now, obviously, this is covered in foil right now, but if I peel this away, you will see that the embossed areas have been foiled. Oh, come on. And 
it's been die cut all in the one pass with your die cutting machine and that's your die cutting machine that's not this particular one no no it's yours any die cutting machine that's got a six inch wide one inch deep gap between the rollers this can be used with whether it's electronic or manual that's so quite things like your big blue your grand not your grand color but the oh, i've forgotten them all now big shot cuttlebug uh sapphire blue that one basically that dimension and you've got it okay uh, as long as you've got like a six inch wide. Six mouth. inch wide, one inch deep gap between the rollers, not the mouth, the rollers. Uh, what about the snap? Could you use it on the snap? No, you can't. I believe the snap, snap is a bit bit too small for yeah, this. Yeah, a bit tight lipped. <laughs> <laughs> yes. In uh, right, that. you could use it on the cut embossing, couldn't you? <laughs> yes, you can. Uh, it you can just be need bigger to... than six inches. Yes, it can. You just need to use the B plate with the cut emboss because you need to add some depth to that sandwich because it's got a deeper gap between the rollers. Very, very clever idea, and this mm. is your last opportunity to get a multitude of the bundles that we have on the show. I, mean, I do feel that we have everyone covered here. We have those that you already have the machine. We have those of you who have been waiting for the lid and uh, upgrade. You've got those of you who are waiting for the next set of dies. Mm -hmm. um, just everybody's covered, really, aren't they? Literally, whether this is day one for you in the story or whether it's day 101, We've got you covered and we're bringing you up to date. Okay. I'm going to use my sparkly foil. And I'm not sure how much we've got left of this, but there were 16 brand new colours today, including some of these rainbows, the mirrors, no, the greens, all, all these bits and pieces. Don't try and, and get that. I'm not going to colours. turn into foil hands again. <laughs> Edward foil hands. Yep, that's me. That's uh, me. Right, so I'm going to give you a choice, Martin. White or black cardstock? Black. All right, oh. Because we've just done one. white, haven't we? That's fair enough. Yep, black. But bear in mind, it can be used with many different materials, and I'll show you this after... In fact, let me show you those while this is heating up. OK. So, when the GoPress and foil first came out, it was intended to do hot foiling, which it did very well, and then here are some examples. So it's onto white card, onto black card, and then various different designs of hot foil stamps are available. You can use your thin metal cutting dies to actually do the foiling with as so well. So all your tattered lace dies, your couture dies, yeah. they all become uh, foiling plates. All your yeah. Disney watsits and things like that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we can also use large background dies to do this with too, so we can create backgrounds of foiling for our cards. Mm. Foil directly onto vellum or parchment, mm -hmm. and it doesn't matter what colour you use, still works. We can letter press, so that's pressing the design just straight into the cardstock without foiling, so you get a beautiful, elegant look. You can add ink to that to get letter pressing with ink. You can hot foil into textured cardstock, things like watercolour, mm -hmm. into hunky dory cardstock, so 350 GSM that's already got a coating on it. And then for double whammy, you can hot foil onto foil. So Ooh. foil cardstock, okay. you can even foil onto that. Foil onto foil. You can foil onto watercolour. So I know with the last hour with the Tim Holtz bits and pieces, there's lots of mixed media going on there. You could actually start foiling onto those bits and pieces as well. We can use our thin metal stencils, so not just dies. So all those stencils we've got stored away, we can use the positive and the negative of those to get through those. And then we can also use plastic embossing folders to create backgrounds with foiling. That's not all though, Martin, because pretty versatile, then. now that we've got the grid on the lid, we can do positioning. So we can position those dies right in the centre of the card, top left, top right, bottom left, wherever you fancy putting it. That means that you can take a load of pre-layered cards to your craft fair, mm. your GoPress machine, your mm. foils and your um, stamps, mm. and then ask your customer, what colour would you like and what sentiment you'd like? And then you get bespoke cards Foil on the spot. Foiling live. Foiling live. There you go. That's Clever. some excitement for you on your stand, which will draw attention to it, because people will talk about that. Going beyond that, though, let's talk about the craft wow. stash that we've got hidden away. We bought it because it was a bargain at a quid for a bag of bits. Yeah but now we've just got it hidden away. Give them new life with some foiling. Pass them through with various bits of offcuts or waste or even a full sheet of the foiling and you can start creating effects that are like this. Hello, he's upside down, little Twitter. Well, it's a skittle, it's a bird. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bowling pin. Yeah. But to be honest, it could be any shape. Yeah. As long as it fits within the dimensions of the Go Press and Foil, which is five inches by eight inches, so that's a plenty big size, you can do this. And these bits here are just using crumpled foil as well. So I use the heat from my hand to take away some of the colour wow. and then create this technique. But cardstock and wood is not all, Martin. We can go on to fabric. I'm going to sit down I in know. a minute. You it's thought like... you had a long bit yeah. with all the choices. <laughs> I'm still going here. So satin ribbon we can foil directly onto. 
So even if we've got some basic wrapping paper, <laughs> we can start embellishing the actual ribbon that goes around that and make it a bit more luxurious and elegant. The sentiments are great for this because they can just continuously run. And because you've got foil on a roll, there's five metres of that, so you could actually get five metres of continuous foiling going on. Uh, it doesn't matter what width or what style or what size or what colour, you can do it all. We can also do it onto cotton fabric. Wow. So this is your quilting cotton, nice tightly woven non-stretch fabric. You can do it on too. I've still not tested whether it goes through a washing machine, but it doesn't rub off with your finger look. So okay. in that respect, it's nice and permanent. We've got leather that we could actually letter press into, and that's a permanent press. So it won't come out, it won't pop out, it won't deflate over time. So if you make things like leather handbags or purses or wow, wallets, yeah. you could start pressing these designs into those for a unique look with for your range. But I've been playing more since then. Angelina Fibers. Because we've got a heat system... Well, you're foiling onto fibres. I can not only foil onto the fibres, I can fuse the fibres with this system. So I can actually put them in a sandwich of parchment paper, run them through the machine and press it all together to Get fuse it here. into place. Seriously? Yes, absolutely. I remember when we used to have to get the iron out I just know, to melt exactly, the fibres. Exactly that. But with this system, we can pass it through and it gives you that perfect <clears throat> fused look. Amazing. Amazing. Beyond that, we can actually apply heat fusible backings to our fabric. So mm -hmm. if we're doing a plique and we want to use a heat fused backing onto that, so uh, maybe we're going to cut it from a scan and cut, we could work in small patches of this cut it out and then even use this to fuse it onto our main project as well. And one more thing, you'll remember something like this. This was printed on our Kaleido 3D printer shows. Oh, yeah. It's a nice thin piece of PLA filament that's been printed into a design. You can foil directly onto that too. Is there anything you can't use it on? Your child's head. If you'd have said, if you'd have said that at the beginning, we could have gone home now. Yeah. We'd have been halfway home. <laughs> All of that, that's incredible. Uh, the general rules are <laughs> it's got to be flat. It's got to be less than about two millimetres, but other than that, as long as it will tolerate the heat and as long as it will go through the gap in the die machine, you can pretty much foil it. That's amazing, isn't it? It really is. OK, it's item number 427820. There are a number of options. That's the machine on its own. So if you don't own one, you can pick one up tonight. 89.99 on three flexes of £30 for club members. Now, John's explained it very, very well, but we do have a lovely... A professionally edited video to show you the features. The Couture Creations Go Press and Foil is a lightweight and portable electronic foiling machine. From hot foiling to letter pressing, your crafting projects will be packed with endless possibilities with this amazing product that works in conjunction with most die cutting machines. This brand new machine has an all new style acrylic lid which you can utilize as a stamp press. It also now comes with the metal conversion plate and three exclusive hot foil stamps. Go press and foil here on Create and Craft. Fantastic, fantastic. Really, really clever machine and filled a niche in the market. Definitely. Absolutely. It? It's something we, we might not have thought we wanted, but when it came along, we were all blown away. Yeah, absolutely. Sold out so quickly when we first launched it as well, because yeah. it is something unique. Right, what are you going to show us now? Then? Just very quickly, I will oh, we die-cut this. Card, yeah, we? just very quickly. I will die-cut this again in a second to show you, because I was doing it while we were watching that. But that's what came out of the die-cut. This piece of foil is what's left. So you can actually still use that. I could fuse this to this piece of cardstock. So from one piece of foil, I could have two looks. So it's brilliant. It's, you know, you're cutting down on waste and you're getting um, value for money. Value that's for money, that's what we like. OK, so black cardstock, Martin, what colour of foil would you like? Oh, rainbow, obviously. Rainbow. So been a favourite today. I yeah. don't know why. Oh, it's I was with Nigel earlier. Ah. <laughs> OK, um... No, we'll go, rain we'll go rainbow. Rainbow's always a good oh, one. Oh, I've got a piece stuck to me there. Sorry. Oh, steady on. I just like the fact that it's all different colours. It's it is. It's incredible. And it's, it might look quite, um, let's use the word, garish on the roll. But actually, when you see it come out, you'll be very, very surprised. So, actually, have I got bits in there? I've just got a couple of bits I need to get out from there. Get out you and now, get out Now, these dies are impressive, whether you're buying the cup, uh, the cup foil and the boss or... Well, go press and foil, I think. I forgot what it was called for a minute. It's late and I... These dies are very, very good on their own, aren't they? They are. They are indeed. I believe you can still use them with a regular die cutting mm. machine. You just obviously wouldn't have the hot foiling aspect no. of it. So you would just have the um, embossed and cut edges. Still a good idea. Yeah, definitely. 
They were a long time coming, but now they're here. Yeah. You're loving them. Now, how long do you think it takes to normally heat up this, John? Because this the plate heats up, doesn't it? It doesn't go overly hot. I can put my hand on it. Well, that's not heated. No, I know. Well, it's warm. That's because it's transferred yeah. from here. Yeah, yeah. So I can put my <laughs> hand on that bit and it's not hot. I wouldn't no. put my hand on there. There you go, you see? Oh, it's not bad. Hardly heat hot at all. I, I kind of liken it to radiator hot. So you can yeah. always put your hand on a radiator. Sometimes, though, if you've got your heating on yeah. full blast, you might want to take it away after a minute or two. Yeah, but you, you couldn't cook an egg on there. No, know. unfortunately. We were talking about this outside, actually. I, I said toasting. it probably could keep your coffee warm, but I don't ah, think you could do any okay. food on right. it. Right. <laughs> it's not, not recommended. Not that you would want to. And they release very well as well. Wow. So they just pop out. Now, let's take away that foil. And you can see there, look. Oh, that's so clever. A nice ballroom gown. So it's gown. cut, it's embossed, and it's foiled the mm -hmm. embossed parts yep. all in one passing. All in one pass, and there's nothing left in the die You could either. literally make those and sell them as embellishments. Well, you know what? At the end of the day, you've got the tools to do the techniques, so why not do them? I, I totally agree. I think it's a fantastic system. It's one of those things you don't realise you need till you see it. Exactly. Imagine going out and buying an entirely new foiling system and you get to the shop and somebody says to you, oh, well, you need this bit and you need this bit, you need this and this and this. Um, question. Yes. You've answered it, but I'm going to ask it anyway. Okay. Vicky in Barrow Hill, Hello, Chesterfield, Vicky. says, can you use any dies or do they have to be special ones? As long as they're thin metal dies, they <coughs> will work with this system to do foiling with. So I had the example earlier. Let me show you those again. She loves all the different things you can do with it. So here's two examples, <coughs> excuse me. So they will give you a different look. The hot foil stamps will give you a thicker embossed area, mm -hmm. whereas with your regular thin metal cutting dies, you will just get the cutting edge. So they'll give you a nice thinner, finer look, which I actually personally love. Whether it's large backgrounds, and remember it will go up to five inches by eight inches, or whether it's nice small detail dies. Okay. Uh, 451556 is the details of the metal plate and upgrade at the moment. The metal plate and the lid upgrade. Um, uh, uh, lid, uh, being, uh, having a motorcycle when I was younger, uh -huh. every time I, saw, I just think helmet, lid, oh. you know? <laughs> yeah. Anyway, uh, how much? 70%? Goodness Ooh, me. Blimey. Okay, well, we've got a lot of people who've already got the machine who just want to get the lid with the grid and the metal plate. Uh, another email, this is from Jessica, who's up in North Lincolnshire. Hello, Jessica. Uh, I've never done foiling, and I am interested in it. Uh -huh. What advice would you give me? I love watching all of John's demos. He's an inspiration, and I love all the hints and tips. Oh. I'm proud to be a Diamond Crate and Craft member. Thank you very much. And, wow, Diamond. Yeah. Didn't realise you... I didn't realise you'd gone up to that now. Yeah, you get a lot of diamonds. In the year, make a reward. The... Now oh, you get really? diamond, oh, I'm diamond. So, I think I'm signed up for that. I, I think he's probably a diamond member, to be honest, John. <laughs> no. You better check, to I think be you've honest. got to earn it. You don't just get it. No, you've got to earn it, but I think you <laughs> probably have. Um, <laughs> Jessica, um, <clears throat> tips would be just to watch all the demos and buy the machine and then just have some fun. Yes, I believe, and I'm not sure it's still there, but there was a, a special place on the Create and Craft website where they had the um, little tutorial videos, like quick how-tos yeah. of the different techniques. And you're not that far from Donny, so get yourself down to Doncaster. Exactly. Uh, and then you'll have people to answer the questions live for exactly. you. Exactly. Um, but my biggest tip would be get it. Yeah. Because it is super simple to use. Once you've mastered putting something in here and putting that through a die cutting machine, you've got all of the skills you need. So don't panic. It's very, very easy to use. Now, um, this next email is from a lady I haven't heard from for ages, mm -hmm. who lives in a very beautiful place, but also a very sad place. Right. If you know, you'll know. She lives in Royal Wooden Bassett. Right. And her name is Frenette. Oh, I remember that yeah, name. Yeah, it's a lovely name, isn't it? Hello, Frenette. How lovely Hi. to hear from you. Uh, please could you demonstrate how to get a sentiment in the correct place on a card front? OK. Mine always seem to be a bit off. A bit. Apart from this, I love my Go Press and Foil. Uh, I hope you can help. Frenette will do our very best. All right, we will. Yes, that's no problem. So I've just passed four dies through now with those and done them all at the same time. So you don't have to just work one by one, as I've been showing you. You can um, batch make and batch do your bits and pieces. So I'll just take them out. Might need a bit of help on those. Uh, nope, that's fine. So they're out. They'll go on there. Leave that there for a second. And then I'll just show you this one. The others will be the same, but what I've got is I've got a bit of watercolour cardstock that I actually spritzed with a load of watercolour powders 
and then I've used a green foil to foil on top of it. And you can see that it picks up those details and really adds to that something special. So don't think about the fact that you just have to do certain things with certain dyes or certain techniques with certain particular products. You can mix and, mix and match all of the techniques that I'm showing you with all of your different crafty bits. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, so do you think you'll be able to replicate in that? I in will, show but I will Frenet? need to take this off and heat Fine. up a stamp, we'll, which will we'll take a couple you. of we minutes. Won't forget. I won't let him forget, for it. I'll start uh, that now <laughs> while you're doing another email. Now, here's another equally unusual uh, name for a, a town, uh, uh, Tony but... Pandy. Oh, I love Tommy that name. Pandy. I've been there. Uh, in the Rhonda. Yes, I've been there. Uh, and it's uh, Beverly, and she says how lovely it is to see John with us again. Thank you very much. Then she obviously had um, a, a, a bit of a sort of a moment and thought, it's oh, it's lovely to see you too, Martin. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Beverly. Uh, John's an excellent crafter and explains everything so clearly. Um, she says, I uh, love all the products on the show, and now Beverly's been. I spent six months over the winter decorating the entire house. Right. I wouldn't have been able to roll my sleeves up in January because they'd have been covered in paint. Right. Uh, however, Beverly was updating me on her decorating and she's now finished, well, for now anyway. So thank you, Beverly. She loves creating craft and loves all the guests and the fab presenters. Aww. That's very kind of you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Beverly. Beautiful part of the world, Tony Pandy. It is. It is. But well, I'm sure we're pronouncing painting. that wrong. Never. but No, it's, I think it's Tony Pandy. Actually, I can't remember. It is Tony Pandy. I'm I was sure. taught Correct it when I went there. Wrong, <laughs> right, so Frenette, wasn't it? Yeah, Frenette, yeah, Frenette. Okay, so In Royal Wooden Bassett. You've got a couple of things to help you, Frenette, with this system. Now, sadly, my my grid on my lid is slightly worn away now because I've been doing a lot of these extra techniques. However, you do have a grid on the lid, and if you go for the upgrade kit as well today, you've got a replacement for that, so you've got a nice clean grid on your lid. But you can use that as a start to help you um, position your dies or position where you want things on your um, project. Also, on the silicon base, you've actually got a grid on there as yeah, well. Yeah. And you've also got measurements along all four sides. Two sides are metric. Uh, are they all metric? No. Two sides are metric and two sides are imperial measurements. So you should always be able to find something to reference up against your project. Now, many of you are going for what was just on the screen. Right. <laughs> As it disappeared. Uh, there, 451556. Five, Most of you are going for those because you already own the Go Press and Force. 75% of it is gone. However, if you want everything, here comes the item number that has everything. And let me remind you that on all of them, the price is going up in 33 minutes. Yikes. Okay. So please don't miss out if you're thinking about this as a Christmas pre present. A Christmas peasant? Yeah, Christmas present. <laughs> yeah. Right. Don't so. be a Christmas peasant. <laughs> order yours early and spread the cost with FlexiPay. Got oh out of that dear. one, John. You did. <laughs> okay, so going back to this, basically I'm working on a 6x6 six six card front. So I know that half of that and half of that, to get it right in the centre, is going to be 3x3. Three three. So my 3-inch mark is there and my 3-inch mark is there. So I'm going to move that across. Now, you might think, well, that's not in the middle of no, there. No, it's not in the middle, it John. It doesn't matter. Oh. What I'm trying to do is get it in the middle of a six-inch card. Oh, OK. OK, so I know that that's going to be there six inches. Now, it's going to be off. Uh -huh. So I am actually going to move it to the middle okay. of this mat. OK. And I'm using the grid either side just to get it aligned pretty much in the middle. I'm using the horizontal grid so that I can see that I'm positioning the text. Now, do forgive me. I am working upside down. And I'm just making sure that it's aligned with that three-inch thing. You're like me, right charging my middle. study, though. Really? Yeah, making sure everything's where it belongs. <laughs> just move the, the pen, the pen millimeters, millimeters yeah. to the pen pot. Yeah, yeah. Now, that's for me, is where I want it to be. I can't guarantee it's going to be in the middle, but that's where I want it to be. I now need to put my foil on, so that's going to go on top as normal. And then my card needs to go on as well. So I'm going to put that through, and I'm going to do it so that it faces outwards and I'm going to position it against the six inch mark and exactly in the center I am doing it to the millimeter and then if you want to keep that in place while it's going through a you're going to close the lid and hold it in place but b a little bit of masking tape just okay. in there to keep everything where it needs to be and I tend to hold this down as I'm pulling it out of here and putting it so through the machine moves. so nothing moves yeah and hopefully I've probably done it upside down, actually, thinking about it. But listen, I hope this Doesn't is kind matter. of it's making sense. It's in the middle, John. Exactly. Well, we'll see. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> well, you are working upside down. I've got all the excuses ready. Thanks very much. Blame it on the studio lights. Wrong glasses. Wrong glasses. They're not even on my face. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I wonder what the excuse Fernet has. Here we go. Here we go. Right. Is it in the middle? Let's see. Oh. Nowhere near. <laughs> I don't know. But it's going to be a wonky. So we've got it pretty much oh, there. It's pretty much in the middle. Wasn't pretty you? much there. But do you know what I did? What? Oh yeah, I know that. <laughs> but that's because you were working upside down. That's all right. It's a sideways sentiment. Don't worry about it. Nancy Watt does it at least twice a week. <laughs> <laughs> oh bless her. <laughs> I do miss our Nancy. Um, but I hope that kind of helped you understand how it, to I get it in so. place. That was for you. That was for you. Uh, right now, uh, I was talking Diamond Club a Dear. minute ago. Maker yes. Awards Diamond Club. Yes. We've got lots of uh, lot, Maker Awards, Maker Awards, and Diamond membership. We've got loads of Diamond members already. If you're not, this is what happens when everybody shops at Crate and Craft. We've made shopping at Crate and Craft even more rewarding with our loyalty program, Maker Rewards. The more you shop, the more you earn, the more you save and it's available to everyone. When you shop with us, your reward points are accrued and added to your account, ready to be redeemed at the checkout the next time you shop. To see how many reward points you've earned, simply log on to your account to see your dashboard. There, you'll see all the points you've earned from your previous orders and how many points are available to redeem against your next. Craft Club members get even more Maker Reward benefits, as well as the exclusive club discounts, the quarterly magazine, early bird deals and exclusive offers, we have also supercharged the reward points for Craft Club members. Club members will earn 25% more reward points for every pound you spend. Want more? Of course you do! You just need to build up your status credits as a Craft Club member. Status credits accumulate as you shop and take care of themselves. But when you've accrued 1,000 status credits, Boom! You're in the VIP Diamond Club. You'll get exclusive projects, downloads, free tickets to every crafting live event, and get 50% more reward points for every pound you spend. Maker Rewards means more. More deals, more savings, more reasons to enjoy your crafting hobby, and more importantly, more rewards. Crafters, you are welcome. Come everyone, they <laughs> certainly are. Boom. Boom. Uh, right, uh, we're going to have more demonstrations. You've got 28 and a half minutes till the prices go up across all the items in these shows. Um, that upgrade plate, upgraded lid with the grid and the uh, the metal plate are now 80% gone. They could sell out this hour. It has been your one day wonder. Um, John's been here for just one day. And it's a very I, long day. Well, yeah, it's been a long <laughs> day, yeah. But uh, what we're trying to do, Excuse me, what we're trying to do in this show is just give you as many demonstrations as we possibly can. They said that to me before the show. <laughs> yes. I said, John, it's going to be a demo heavy hour. Yeah. <laughs> is it? Get on with it, John. All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, right, so I've got another one of the um, foil cut and emboss. Foil cut, yes, foil yeah. cut and emboss dies on yeah. the um, plate, and the plate is warming up. And I've got the carriage, which I'm going to use with a travel theme. And I'm going to pop carriage, the foil not down. Cabbage. <laughs> There's no cabbage in it there, um, Peter. That's me. I've got the lovely cabbage. Yeah. But I'm going to gold the foil. Cabbage die. For the special person in my life. <laughs> yeah, it is a foiled cabbage. Yeah. <laughs> is it a cos? <laughs> you know, is it a, an iceberg? That's or lettuce. A... Yeah. Not cabbage. Oh, cabbage. Yes, yeah. yeah, sorry, it's cabbage. Is it different? There must Savoy. Yes. No. Yes. Red. Savoy. Red. White. <laughs> what other types of cabbage are there? Big ones and small ones. <laughs> I don't know. I eat cabbage a lot, apparently. I didn't realise. I didn't realise how much I ate, but it's in loads of things. The seven varieties of uh, oh, is oh, bok choy. Is, yeah. Savoy. Oh, is it? Yeah. Red cabbage, yeah. I like white cabbage. I can't eat green cabbage. Makes me gag. Yeah. I anyway, here's the lovely, luxurious, elegant. Can't touch it with a barge pole. Carriage, that I thought would look good with maybe a travel theme. Something like that, maybe. I like that. Thanks very much. Yeah. Or it could be with yeah, maybe a Disney dies. The oh, princess of course. dies. Yeah. That would be lovely. Perhaps. Um, that would be lovely. Now we've got the waste. Don't lose that because well, we're going to use waste, that later. Is it? Some of the carriage. Well, it is entirely. 
because that I mean that foil actually die cuts the same as the cardstock so you've got that as a an extra to put on something else all right maybe a tag that's going with your project let's do another one uh what do we fancy I reckon we'll have a bit of cake pop that on and you can stay there let's try doing uh, this kind of midnighty bluey sparkly running out of descriptive words foil if you like make it a luxury dark chocolate cake maybe yeah could be <laughs> yep i was chanting a cake jokes oh i can't think of any all myself. i can think of is the the cake was late for our wedding we were in tears that's about, <laughs> that's all about <laughs> That's about all I could come up with. That was a very good one, given. to be honest. I don't know any other cake jokes. I don't know any at all. So, that's heated up already. Yep. It's nice and thin dye, so it will heat up quite fast. And I'll pop that on there. And the cardstock on. And then this now, will go let's talk about the foil well. we can use. Because right. I know people have emailed in, they've got the Heidi Swap foiling machine. Right. Can they use the same foil? Uh, I genuinely don't know. Is that no, the one can't. that works it's, with yeah, the toner? It's laser the, printed, yeah. Yeah. No, it works. That works on a, a slightly different type of adhesion. Basically, what you are looking for is a heat at reactive foil. So things that you maybe bought for your Toddo in the past, and vice versa, these will work with your Toddo, yeah, by the way. Yeah, it has to be a heat activated foil. Yeah. Uh, the Midas Touch works, doesn't it, I believe? Uh, I can't remember now. Yes, it should do. I think it does, a, yeah. If it's a heat reactive. Anyway, it ha we have our own range of foils, and of course you can get the Toddo foils as well. So there's my cake, but remember, you could do three of these and maybe cut out the bottom two layers and then the bottom layer and decoupage them up. That's funky, look. Isn't it just? Oh, that's rather good, that is. I love the way it kind of goes into the recess and it looks natural. Yes. Where it is. Yes, it doesn't look foiled. <laughs> Sounds daft. It doesn't look foiled, does it? <laughs> it doesn't. But then when it catches in the looks light. looks like it was made that way. Oh, got, yeah, it does. Looks like you've almost paper pieced lots of different bits of cardstock. Yes. It looks like the, the background was the dark and you put the white on the top there. Even yeah. to the roses on the top there look lots very clever. Lots of detail clever. in each one. Very clever. Uh, right, what else do you fancy? What have we got? Uh, what haven't we done? Basket. Have I done the basket? I can't remember now. Basket? No, we've done the basket. Oh, we'll do a basket. Uh, right, email. This is from Anne in Paisley in Scotland. Right in my town. Do you know her? No, not yet, I don't think. Right, John lives in Paisley, I Anne. I live there. Get round, knock on his door, what get him out of bed. Mean? Just a wee email to say how wonderful to see John Bloodworth tonight. His demonstrations are clear price. No address. And I ad adore his Where giggle. Are you? Where are you? Well, I I'll tell you now. what, you tell everyone your oh, address. address. <laughs> <laughs> right. And then Anne can come round. I'm down in Glenburn. Where are you, Anne? There you go. There you go. Any know. street corner in what, Glenburn? <laughs> Any street corner. <laughs> <laughs> you, you need to get together, you could do some crafting. Yeah, that'd be cool. Brilliant. Uh, apparently, there's a fair few around that area. <laughs> I've only been there a year, so I haven't quite made. Lots of local friends. Actually, her address was on the email. Oh, so if she, <laughs> well, you, you, you Facebook each I'll other. Pop or around something for a like brew. Fa Facebook. I don't want to be giving people's addresses. <laughs> um, give him a Facebook. To, yeah. You know, if you want to meet up, you could have a. You could give John a lesson, Anne. Couldn't you? <laughs> <laughs> on aligning the stamps. Yeah. I'll pop around for a brew. We'll have a chat. Yeah, there you go. Uh, right. Um, Hello. Yes. What are we doing? Uh, we can carry on. Do some more. We were doing the basket, weren't we? Yes, we are. Okay, we've still got 20 minutes, John. All right. So let's make it demo heavy, shall we? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, that works. Here's a basket. Let's. <laughs> <laughs> you are funny. Right, I think we'll go for the turquoise foil because that's one of my faves. Lovely, beautiful holographic look on that one. And I will. Pop this in with the basket. Uh, a massive thanks to Roger, who's just emailed in, wanted to know whether uh, we could get extra foils in the show. Yes, you can. And there's the details, look. The uh, Couture Creations foil case. Wow. Volume 2. Not only the foils, but a case full of them. And there's 16 different foils in there. 80 metres in total. A massive thanks to Roger in Birmingham for that one. <laughs> £44 and 99p <laughs> is your price, ladies and gentlemen. There's a whole bunch of stuff in the show, really. 
I think that's the, the key whole thing bunch. to it. A whole bunch. Uh, uh, no, seriously, though, all joking apart, this is a fantastic addition to your craft room. Uh, foiling is something that many people have wanted to do, but they've had to buy big machines to do it that are designed just to foil. Mm. Um, now you're enhancing your own die cutting machine, and along with these couture cut, foil, and emboss dies, uh -huh. you really have got a lot of extra strings to your bow, haven't you? You have indeed, and that was working with this straight onto vellum. Mm. And bear in mind, Martin, I haven't had to do anything different with this sandwich, I haven't had to prepare it in any other way. It's the same, it's the metal plate, your die, the foil, and then your thing that you want to foil onto and you're away through your die cutter machine and then it's foiled. Whether it's card, whether it's paper, whether it's acetate, whether it's heat resistant um, laminate, doesn't matter. It's the same process every time. So that learning curve for this is very, very low. Very quick. OK, well, I'll tell you what, let's show... Now, the dies are available individually and in two groups, the floral or the... Uh... What was the other one? Wedding, that's wedding, it. Yeah. Uh, floral or the wedding. So uh, you can get just the floral ones on their oh. own and there's the detail. Remember, these are multifunctional dies. They cut, they foil, and they emboss in one pass. Very clever. Here's some of the things that you could be making with them. OK, folks, now John is just uh, getting ready for some more heavy demoing and uh, we're going to remind you of the items that we have in the show, starting with the entire collection. So you can get yourself a Go, a press and a foil, uh, the Go, press and foil deluxe machine, the floral and wedding die collection and the metal lid plate and the lid upgrade all in one for two hundred and fifteen ninety seven for the next 18 minutes. Then the price is going to go up to two hundred and forty nine. 97 so you just need to be as quick as you can if you want these everything's included you get foil you get the the clever tool you get the silicon mat you get the extra dies everything's in there it's a really good collection all the dies the machine the lid upgrade the metal plate all included four flexi pays 53.99 fabulous deal don't miss out on it or <coughs> excuse me you might just want to get which one we're going to do the replacement plate and the lid with a grid on its own. You might just want to get those, right? Well, we'll do that and we'll throw in a couple of bonus go, um, cut, press and foil, no, yes, cut, emboss and foil dies with it as well, seriously. Um, for 35 99 that's fantastic value for money and it's on two flexies of £18. If you want both die sets, here they are, you get the wedding and the floral. 125.98. Now remember, these are multifunctional dies. They are designed to cut, they're designed to foil, and they're in design to emboss. So you are getting something very, very special here. And it's it's um it's the second collection. The first collection just went just like that when people saw what these would do. So 451.593, the item number for this one. 71.99. If you want the wedding on its own, if you're not into flora at all and you just like the wedding, there's the details for the wedding, $71.99. If you want the replacement, oh, yes, now um, uh, these are limited stock, they didn't tell me when we were down there, they're now limited stock, okay, so the metal plate and the lid upgrade and the two bonus dies are now less than 10% remaining, so do not hang around, ladies and gents, you are going to miss out. Uh, the Go Press and Foil Machine on its own, um, very, very popular. Um, this is for people who just want to get into this straight away. Maybe you don't want the, the dies that we have, maybe you don't want the upgrades, maybe you've just been waiting to see this. It's payday, you've decided I'm going to go for one today. Uh, it's 427820. Let's actually show you the features and then we'll show you it working one more time. 
The Couture Creations Go Press and Foil is a lightweight and portable electronic foiling machine. From hot foiling to letter pressing, your crafting projects will be packed with endless possibilities with this amazing product that works in conjunction with most die cutting machines. This brand new machine has an all new style acrylic lid which you can utilize as a stamp press. It also now comes with the metal conversion plate and three exclusive hot foil stamps. Go Press and Foil, here on Create and Craft. OK, folks, now, uh, more emails coming in. Should we read uh, Barbara's email? OK. Because Barbara is in California. Wow. Have you ever been? No. Ever been to America? N uh, well, twice. Once. OK. Have I? Oh. You don't remember going to America? I went to the first CHA. Oh, OK. Well, that's not really going, is it? Because you really. just see the inside of it. Flew a... in, saw the inside of the conference yeah, centre, flew out. Yeah, it's the same. Yeah. <laughs> well, Barbara's in Cambria, <coughs> California. I'm going to look up Cambria in a minute, because I've been looking up tonight. It's a new thing I'm going to do when we've got time, is to look up the area of our US viewers are emailing from and give everybody a little bit of info Bab. about that area. Okay. So, she says, I'm so enjoying watching this hour with the Go Press and Foil. I've had mine for about a year, and I'm still amazed at the quality of the foiling. Uh, this new wedding collection is so timely as I have a nephew who's getting married soon, so these dies will be perfect for their wedding card and a few scrapbook pages. Can't wait to receive mine. John and Martin, thank you both for a truly enjoyable hour. Uh, demos are great and the laughs have been plenty. Barbara, you are so, so welcome. Thank Just you for getting point, in Just on by touch. the way, if you are in the US and you're ordering this, this will come <laughs> with a US plug. You're not going to get an adapter no. or anything else. It'll no, you're come ready to, take to work the plug without off and the box. rewire yeah. it yourself. It will come with a US plug. Of course I, it some does. people assume this, but you know, I just like to make it clear. No, you've made it clear, John. Thank you. Well done. Thank you. <laughs> 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 Thanks, Martin. Oh, John, I've missed you. <laughs> I missed you too. <laughs> OK, I'm looking up. I think maybe after a week you'd be saying something different. <laughs> like, when are you going home? Huh? Sorry? <laughs> Sorry, they were talking about Sarah. What did you say? That's all right. I was just saying after a week, maybe you're like, what, are <laughs> yeah. you going home? Yeah. Well, yeah, obviously, you're only here for a day, so <laughs> I can get away with it. Right. Let's, <laughs> let's look at Cambria, California, see what we come up with. Oh, okay, Cambria is a seaside village. I didn't know that, Barbara. Barbara. Oh. Oh, my word, look visit? where it is. Can we come and um, do a TV show in from In the lounge? San Luis Obispo County in wow. California, midway between San Fran and Los Angeles, along right. the California State Route 1. Mm -hmm. Andy well, and Lowen yeah, have just been driving down say. there. They could have brought you products. <laughs> yeah. Literally. They've just done yeah. San Francisco to, Cal uh, to, to New uh, Los Angeles, which is what I want to do maybe in a couple of years' time because we've got some other big things to do yet. The name Cambria, chosen in 1869, is the Latin name for Wales. Wow. Not, you know, Wales, Wales. I'm talking about Wales, the country. <laughs> <laughs> Wales, the country. Wow, didn't know that. <coughs> Population are, oh, that was 2010. 6,032. There's probably a few more now. What there we hope? go. And on the map, I tell you what, let's open the map up and have a look there. This is impressive. OK, if I zoom it down. Come on. Oh, the internet's decided to go wonky on me now. Here we go. So there's, look, this is this is the, the coast, look. And nice. there's, there's, oh, it must be gorgeous there, John. I reckon it would be. Oh, Barbara. That whole track is quite nice. I bet you can see nice. the sea from your craft room, can't you? Yeah, oh, yeah. Send us a, oh. send us a photo of your view. Well. <laughs> now we know. So I'm going to do this because quite often we read out these emails from viewers in America and we say, oh, that sounds lovely, but never really know where they are. And it's nice to know exactly really where people idea. are. You know, if Jane from Yaxley emails in, <laughs> we know where that is, don't we? It's just down the road here. There's um, some, honestly, there's some stunning places around this country, around the US, that people oh, yeah. live in. And you, you never get to see them because they never appear on the news or no. anything. It's just mm. crazy. So... I've been rolling um, this tag through several times, Martin, by the way, with okay. a bit of foil and some waste. Okay. Just some Why? bits and pieces. Just to really create something. Okay. Oh, so you different foil every time? Yes. Or? It's different bits of waste, just so that I can create something unusual and decorative. So each time I'm just adding a new layer of extra bits. Oh, my. It's probably going to end up being a mess, but mm. actually that's what I'm looking for. Oh, okay. <laughs> Fine. Or uh, alternatively... Well I will carry on with this in a second, but because I know we're short on time, what I will start doing is actually we're not, using. We're not 
We'll start using Don't this piece of wood. Don't make me laugh, because if I start coughing, that's me done for the night with this hay fever. Oh, bless you. So I'll start <coughs> using this wood and start decorating this as well. And then we can start doing both at the same time with double waste. So we, I think the point I'm trying to make here is it doesn't always have to be clean and crisp and even. No, no of course. Um, it, ha it, it is a way of using up the waste that's creative. And you can then die cut into that to get various different things. So there's always different things you can do to get lots of results in different ways. And be creative and just think outside the box. And there's just some chalk paint on a bit of wood with some of the waste on it. And I think that on its own would look nice with a bit of resin on top, maybe a glaze, but I'm going to carry on. Actually, oh, let's have a go at I'll put some, some of the green from the floral fronds, that's the word, on there as well. And I am using a shim on this, even though it's wood, which just means I'm adding a bit of cardstock to thicken the sandwich. There's more pressure on the actual foil uh -huh. when it goes through the machine. Uh -huh. And that's it. Just that, that concept of knowing that you need the right thickness of sandwich when it's going through the machine. Right, Eve in Coventry. Hello, Eve. Says, uh, I have a go pressing foil and lots of lovely foils. Can you foil onto die cuts from 300 GSM card? Yes. Yeah, of course you could. Yeah. Well, uh, if you look, I'm uh, working on one millimetre thick wood here. Oh, wow. And 350 GSM card is actually quite thin. And compared to that. I do have 350 GSM card stock here because that's hunky-dory. So compared to that, it's wafer thin. Yes, indeed. Uh, so you've got no problem in foiling on that. And as you can see, even on the hunky-dory, which has a special coating we already. Actually, you actually printed onto a Kaleido printer. Yes, didn't you? so on 3D, 3D printer there. Yep. So you can print on all sorts of things, really. And not print, foil. Foil. Um, print on. Uh, Stop saying print. Stop saying it, Martin. <laughs> Foil onto Foil. various different bits and pieces mm. and really just get creative. So I'll carry on with this one. Do another layer. I'll use a bit of me carriage. Okay. And put it off to one um, side. Now, you've had one of these for a while, obviously. I have, yes, for um, since the very first day they came to Crit Craft. What, what do you find the best thing about them and anything set yourself, about Set yourself some time to play. Right. Don't be afraid, just start putting things through. If you need to, just start with the very basics. Do right. a hot foil stamp and just go from there. Then when you've got some waste bits, like I'm doing here, just get some bits of offcuts of cardstock from your waste bin or whatever, and then just start putting them through and see what you come out with and just let the, the thing kind of lead you a bit. I think my, my tip would be a sort of a life tip, really, mm -hmm. and that is, um, obviously, when you put the plate out and you use it, uh -huh. you put it back in, it's got to heat up. Yes. Don't watch it. No. <laughs> right? Don't watch it. Seriously, no. we have a clock on the monitor to the end of the show. It doesn't move. <laughs> right? Right? It just doesn't move. Right? You look over there and you look back and five minutes have gone. That's true. So don't watch waiting for it to heat up. Do something else. Get something else ready. Be yes. crafting something else. And then when you glance Absolutely. at it, it'll be, it'll, be, it'll be heated. Absolutely. Be ready to go. Yeah. Otherwise, you just get, you know, they do say a watch pot never boils, don't it's they? It's so true. Um, so that would be what I would say. Yeah, it's a very good tip. Um, it is just true. go and do something, you know, prepare yeah. something else. Well, like you saw me doing earlier in the show, I put the die on and then got my bits of foil and bits of cardstock together while that was heating up. Now, you've just put it in yep. about 10 seconds ago, uh -huh. or 15, and it's flashing yes. red, as you can see there. Uh -huh. Now, we could stand here and, like... <sighs> Been out lately? Anyway, <laughs> good. Well, yeah, yeah. I went to a bar in Reykjavik last the other week. Reykjavik yeah. in Iceland. Yeah. Oh. Ah, oh, there you go. Look, it's ready. Now that was boring, wasn't it? No offence <laughs> yeah. to your bar in Reykjavik. It really right? was. But if you'd have just been faffing around doing something else, that would have been green when you look back. It that's would. my that's my tip. Anyway, yeah. For what it's To worth. be honest, I never even noticed that now because oh. I'm always doing something yeah. else. Even if it's drinking tea and scoffing biscuits, you know, there's always something else to Absolutely, do. Absolutely. Yeah. Snacks and crafts. I'm not sure why they go together so well, but <laughs> they do. Okay, and then here's a third layer using some of that rainbow that we used. So you can see I'm starting to build up, and what I'll end up with are things like these tags that I was showing you earlier, or these birds, these wooden shapes. So you can see from a very plain and drab piece of wood that's got some chalk paint on it, we've gone to some highly decorative foiled embellishments that we can use to adorn a mixed media project, a card, a scrapbook page, 
anything that we want because mm -hmm. we're in charge of this. We are the creative ones. Mm -hmm. It's not like some systems that will dictate what you've got to do and where yep. you've got to put it. Completely we can agree. do what we want. Uh, right, now on the, on the screen we have the details of the biggest bundle. If you haven't done any of this, that's the one to go for because you're going to get everything. So if you're thinking of buying this for somebody to Christmas, you might as well get them all right now. Obviously, you might not want to get the um, the dies. That's entirely up to you. The dies might be, not be the style you're looking for. So don't forget to look online in the next six minutes because you can get the machine on its own. You can get the lid and uh, the lid upgrade and the replacement plate on their own. Remember, cap postage as well. Um, you can get just the wedding dies, or you can get just the floral dies, or you can just the individual dies. There's many, many, it's a bit squeaky. You're so even in control of many, the buying. Many, many options. Sorry? You're even in control of the buying and you the are. options that you, you have. Are. You are. So there's lots of options, but you've only got five and a half minutes to make sure you get them in your basket uh, to take advantage of the one day wonder. Uh, there'll be more One Day Wonders coming up. Uh, John, do you know when you're going to be back yet? Not just for... a clue, Martin. Not okay. a clue, I'm afraid. Okay. OK. Uh, hopefully soon. Hopefully. Yep. Hopefully soon. Uh, we're going to give something away. Got a whole we, load of bits we can give away here. Some of the stuff we foiled away. Yes, absolutely. There okay. you go. There's a whole load of it. And we're also going to give tickets to Doncaster Live away. Oh, okay. Right. Uh, right. This is for the uh, John's foiled bits. There you go. Okay. <laughs> Tracy in Watford. Well done, Tracy. Tracy, you're going to get stuff that John has foiled in this hour. Pick another one for me, John. Okay. Doncaster tickets. We'll email you two tickets to Doncaster Live. Bring your own rotten fruit. <laughs> uh, Laura in the Perfleet in Essex. Wow, fabulous. Not bad. Congratulations. Not bad. You can catch the train up to Donny. Yep. East Coastline, take you about four days. <laughs> I've <laughs> got to uh, use that one to get home. You, you hope. <laughs> uh, and uh, you can come and have some fun at Doncaster. John, uh, absolute pleasure to see you, you as too. ever. It really is. Thanks for all the tips and tricks. I've been looking forward to this show all week. Um, and I think that uh, if you are going to. Um, if you're going to get into foiling, mm -hmm. buy a machine that minimises space. You use your own die cutting machine and maximises time as well. You haven't got a separate machine. Get a separate machine out and spend hours setting all that up. Uh, it's pretty portable it as is, well. It is absolutely. You can just it take is. it wherever you fancy, put it yeah. away, whatever you want. Listen, everybody. Thank you so much for watching in the UK and the US. Have a lovely rest of the evening, and we'll see you back here live tomorrow at eight.